Okay, it's 9.30, and I have been busy already this morning. I uh, decided that I should vacuum the stairs. The stairs get really dirty. The cats like to sit there and look down from wherever they are. So either they're at the top of the stairs, close to the door to upstairs. Um, Julia really likes to sit there. Uh, she doesn't want to go upstairs, but she likes to listen. She likes to snoop. She's a cat. Um, Tanner likes it. Yeah, the two of them are the ones that occupy one or another of the stairs at any point in the daytime. So because Julia does it, there's lots of dark hair. And I presume because Tanner does it, there's lots of light here, but you can't see it because it's carpet. So I decided it was looking dirty. So plus I go up and down all the time. So vacuum the stairs. It fills up the vacuum completely. It's full by the end. I start down here by the time I'm at the top. It is full. Can you imagine that much hair? That's how long I leave between vacuumings. That's the problem. Yeah. What else did I do? Um, I cleaned the mirror in the bathroom. It's, it's hard because <laughs> it, I didn't ask for that light light. I just wanted a closed cabinet. Okay. And this is the only one that could, that I could find that, that had an outlet in it. All sorts of regulations. You notice that there aren't any outlets inside the closet. Things like that. That's, they don't have outlets inside medicine cabinets for the most part, but this one has it. Probably because it's metal. I don't know. Anyway, um, but it has that nice mirror, of course, nice mirror. But the light, you know, it's very nice. I appreciate it. But it's very hard to keep clean. It's always clean, but when you clean it, it's hard to get the swipes off you know, because you can see everything. It's like when the sun shines on a mirror, you can see all the marks that are there. Well, there's always a light on that mirror. Annoying, pleasant and annoying. It has been raining. It rained last night. I imagine it rained overnight, but uh, it's not. You know, it's supposed to be a fairly warm day. I think it's supposed to go up to 20. So, <sighs> yeah, I'm in short sleeves again. It's warm. Plus, I've just vacuumed. Yeah. What else did I do? Um, I switched my lights around. I got lights for my step, which I mentioned. But, um, of course, it came in three. I didn't need three, but this is the only thing that I could get. So I have three bars of lights. I put two on the step and then one in the, in the uh, utility room over the kitty litter. And it just does not. I don't need that. So I've changed it. I changed the bar that was on the front, put the bar of light. Well, the one that I, I took off the one on the front, left the one on the side. So, um, yeah, then it won't react quite as quickly when I walk into the bedroom, um, close to the bed and it won't come on, right? It's facing the wall. But when I step out of bed, all I need to do is, a little bit over and it's it's on so that's useful okay good so i thought oh great now i've got these two bars that i have extra this other bar right i thought hey so i've rearranged how they light up in the 
utility room over the kitty litter so that I mean when I had it hanging there it was only lighting up this part and there was a shelf blocking the other one now I've got them hanging vertically off the electrical cabinet and uh, hopefully that will bring more light further down to all of the kitty litter not just the right hand side I don't know I hope so I hope it will light it up more for me because I can't see you know if, if, if I don't have light because like I said my sh my head is in the way yep, you have light behind you you're looking down you can't see right yeah that's me okay so that's that's fixed I don't know we'll see how that goes um, what else did I what else did I do I was just gonna start making coffee I think that's all I did I made the bed um, did the vacuuming I didn't do anything around here did I I don't think so that's it. Fed the cats, fed me. That's it. I am going to be taking care of the baby this afternoon. I think for about an hour, maybe two hours. I'm not sure. We'll see. I'm going to have the carrier. They have this soft carrier where you just hold the baby and wrapped around you i said you know that would be easier if i could have that um, because it's very straining on your back if you have to walk around now I, i've managed to not carry him around and keep him occupied but uh, i imagine this is a longer period and i don't think i'll be able to i'd rather take him out and put him in right so we'll see how that goes we'll see how that goes we'll see how that goes so that's it I'm making coffee now can I make coffee yes I see I'm not the only one that makes coffee like this because uh, grinding your own beans it's just a nice way to get fresh coffee I could not imagine using a Keurig all the time. I have never had a flavorful, tasty, good cup of coffee out of a Keurig. It always, it, it always tastes like not coffee. Okay. Just, just say no to those. Holy smokes. It's very convenient. Hey. And that's why people have them. But they're very expensive. And in my opinion, they don't make good coffee. They're just convenient. It's like, it's instant. Yeah, it's instant. No, it doesn't taste like instant. It tastes better than instant, but it's pretty close. And I know lots of people love instant coffee. First coffee I ever drank was instant coffee. My parents had instant coffee. And that's what I was raised on. I mean, I never started drinking coffee at home. I started drinking coffee when I was uh, going to played badminton with some local ladies at the local school evenings I don't know who who opened that up to me I don't know who introduced me to that but anyway uh, there I was playing badminton with some ladies in the evenings and uh, during the break we'd we'd sit in the teacher's lounge and the teacher's lounge had instant coffee i'm not paying attention here 
32 grams, 31, 32 grams. And that's my, my mother would make uh, cold coffee, half milk, half coffee in the summer. 31 grams. And I'd have that the odd time. But uh, to really, when I really started it was, it was not even then. Oh, I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything. My pattern is broken. Okay. Yeah, um, I still didn't uh, start actually drinking coffee for the purpose of alertness until I was working at um, a printer, a printer in Brantford. And I was working the uh, afternoon shift. So I'd work till midnight. And, and there was so much work that they asked me to come in on weekends for overtime. And that's when I was so tired that I started drinking coffee. But again, it was instant coffee at that point and then I started drinking uh, Tim Hortons when I'd come on my way to work on the weekends this was on the weekends not during the week and then I don't know how things went from there something happened when I started drinking coffee, coffee. More regularly. Probably because my husband drank it, and uh, that might have been it. There are lots of things in my life that happened where I don't know how it started. I don't know how it developed to the point where it is now. You know, things just happen, and you're here, at one point and then you're here at the next point and you don't remember the in-between I just don't remember the in-between so much happened so much other stuff happened not a clue so many people have passed through my life. So many people. They've come and they've gone. What do I want? I want that. Yes. So many people have come and gone. 